On this episode of Global Positive News, a pig gets arrested and shows no remorse. I'm Christy Kern, let's get right to it. There is a pig in Alaska who is known for escaping his home. It's this guy right here. His name, get this, is Elvis Pigsley. And his most recent adventure took an unexpected turn when he roamed the neighborhood for a very long time. According to JoJo.com, someone saw the pig and called police and police arrested the pig. Luckily, Elvis is well known in the area, so it didn't take officers long to track down his owner. They gave him a warning and sent him back home. But how cute is he? How can you stay mad at that face? A retired grandma decided to get back into the workforce to help make sure everyone else got to enjoy the local pool. According to Good Morning America, the pool in Ohio was facing closure because of a lifeguard shortage. So the 66 year old decided to come out of retirement and become a lifeguard herself. Luckily, she was a lifeguard in the late 60s, so she knows a little bit about what she's doing, and she also is proving that age is just a number. We'll talk about an incredible story of chance. A boy and girl adopted less than two years apart found out they are actually biological siblings. According to Today.com, a couple from New York first adopted a newborn boy who had been left in a diaper bag at a daycare center. Then two years later, they adopted a newborn girl who was found in a bathroom stall in the same area. Now, almost 20 years later, the two took DNA tests to learn more about their families, and it turns out they are biological siblings. The sister says she was shaking reading those results. It's not tough to tell, they do look like siblings. In a special act of kindness, Foo Fighters lead singer Dave Grawl is giving back. He spent an entire day, 24 hours on the grill at a homeless facility. What's up you guys? 15 miles today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Go get them. Tomorrow's another beautiful day. Keep it up. Get out here all night cooking. And uh, you got to come back soon. Because we're all in. We're all in, man. You're According to Today.com, Grohl visited the shelter in California. He ended up extending his stay there for more than an entire day and took charge of grilling meals for hundreds of homeless people. He worked overnight to make sure dinner was promptly ready by 6 o'clock in the evening. And it looks pretty yummy, too. That is all for today. You can subscribe to the GPNN YouTube channel. I've been your host, Christy Kern.